Ba 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 ba. I'm loving it. Welcome to episode 259 of the Super Mega Cast, everyone. Woo! Yippee I O. Yippee I O. That is that is that is incredible. You know? Every week we're just knocking it out of the park. Get, <laughs> climbing know. the ladder higher and higher. Yeah. We're uh we're actually the number well, we're the number zero podcast because we went so far above the top spot of one that now we're like it's this cool new kind of place they put the greatest podcast and the most listened to podcast and the most interesting podcast. And don't think that zero means that it's like bad. Zero is actually before one. Yeah. And so it's like before all of creation, this is like the foundation of what every podcast is built from mm-hmm. is the super mega cast. Sorry, Joe Rogan. We knocked him down to, I think, 98. Yeah. Uh, but now it feels good being on top, baby. You know, feels pretty, pretty damn It's a good. permanent spot, too. Mm-hmm. So. Mm hmm. So thank you so much to everyone who's listening for for getting us to number zero on the charts. Yep. Such an honor. And um, I'm just so excited to see what else we can accomplish. And I'm glad that Spotify gave us Joe Rogan's deal. You know, that was a lot. That was like, what was it? that was a lot of money. I haven't even, I haven't even seen how much is in my bank account now, dude. It's there, probably there, like 20, there 30 million. Bit, there's some zeros in there. You know, there's there a couple few, extra there, zeros, there you know? Zeros. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But. Um, and that's pretty, that's pretty epic. Yeah. How you been, Ryan? I've been all right. Justin just left town. He has, uh, but he will be back eventually very soon, even though those two words and eventually very soon doesn't sound like they go together too well, but yeah. he is coming back soon. Justin's coming, baby. Yeah. He's... And we're going to record more Sonic. Mm-hmm. Sonic Heroes, right? Yep. And we just we just finished uh, a which left- he did not seem excited about. No, but we just finished, and he didn't like Adventure Two. I liked it. Oh, I liked watching it. Yeah, we we just did the dark because we did the hero story, and that's on YouTube. Me, Ryan, and Justin, and then now we just recorded all the dark story plus the third ending, the can- canonical ending. Um, and that'll be like nine or ten episodes, and that's coming out at the beginning of September. So keep your eyes peeled. Boom, 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 boom. It was very fun. I, I thought the very funny episodes, but uh. Yeah, since he's I, since he left, I've been I, I'm playing the new Ratchet and Clank Rift in Time. Ooh, which is very really good. It's got I really the sexy liked it. It's so one. fun. The, the sexy the, girl the, in it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Talking about the yellow robot. Yeah. No, is is she a robot? One of them is. She's like one an of animal. The new, one of the new characters is. Yeah. Sexy as fuck. The it, robot. It, yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'm robosexual. <laughs> you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she 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 is pretty thick. Well, she gets thick, but I don't want to spoil too much. Thick with two C's? Hell like yeah. Like the meme way of spelling it? Oh, yeah. Dude, I, I, I recommend the game. Very fun. I'm getting my ass kicked in Demon Souls. Ooh. I just told Matt I, I worked my way, it was like 30, 45 minutes of getting through this level to be like stabbed by seven different enemies that hopped out of like a, a corner or some shit. And uh, so now I'm at back at the beginning. So I had to just pause and I'm like, I'll, I'll just do it again later. God damn. It's very defeating. But that's the whole point. Yeah. You know but, what I'm saying? So then when you overcome it, it's even more of a reward. But like, that's that's the biggest thing. Nothing makes me feel more discouraged. I'm just like, I'm turning it off right now. <laughs> then when yeah. I get far in a game and I die and I have to restart, I'm like, I'm just not, I'll do this later. I'm doing this later. I'm not doing it again right now. I have to like rebuild my energy for it. But I guess that's like the draw to like the Demon Souls specifically. But that's why I also really like uh, Sekiro because the... The Buddha statues are very forgiving in terms of checkpoints. Like you have multiple throughout a level. Whereas usually I'm guessing in like the Dark Souls or Demon Souls games or just the Souls born games, they're like a lot less frequent. Yeah. Like checkpoints. So I played yeah. a little bit of I played like half of Bloodborne, maybe. I'd like to try Demon Souls, but I just know that I don't think that's a game that I'd be any good at. It is. If I can't play fucking Sonic or something, dude, I'm not going to be able to play Demon it's, Souls. It's it's a rough one. Because sometimes, like, if you go in there as a beginner and you're just kind of, like, not... <laughs> not even if you're not on your toes. It's just, like, they just set you up to fail. So it's like, haha, you died. But now you know what's going to happen if you do this. Mm. Like, you'll be walking up some steps and all of a sudden a giant boulder comes barreling towards you at high speed. And you're like... And your character runs, like, very slowly. <laughs> Or like is is very slow, and I didn't. So <laughs> you're trying to run down the stairs, but you have like no time to get out of the way. But then you learn later that you can just activate it, and then run your ass down. Trial and error, yeah. Yeah, that but sucks. then you start from the very beginning again. Oh, th- see, that's so frustrating. But but I imagine like when a you stupid beat death like that, when you beat bosses and shit, it's got to be the best feeling. I haven't beaten a boss yet. 
I haven't even beaten one boss yet. <laughs> All right, Rhino Hazard. Okay, whatever, dude. I thought you were good at video games. Dude. I was almost to the boss, I think. I passed a lot of shit. Ooh. Helped this dude out that was like, help me. Uh, help me, dude. Then I then I helped him, and then he just roamed around this area for no reason. I was like, oh, he gave me like an item or something. Nice. Yeah. Dude, that's kind of like uh, uh, a little dude asking me for help last night. A little um, dude asked you for help? Yeah, a little tiny dude, about two feet tall. No, I went to round one last night, um, and there was a guy that, that works there uh, with, like, very long, like, blue hair. And I, when I came in, I saw him sitting at the bar. I guess he was off the clock, but he was absolutely obliterated. Just drunk. Yeah, like, like. You know, when you see some people, you're like, oh, my God, that person's drunk. Yeah. And he kept drinking. And then one time we made eye contact and he flipped off the whole room of people like sitting down eating. And I was like, oh, dude, this dude. And he looked at some girl that was sitting by herself. He's like, we should totally make out. And he had long blue hair mm -hmm. and he worked at round one. Yeah. <laughs> he had a round one uniform on. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was like, oh, man, I don't want to deal with someone like that. End of the night, I go to walk back to my car. Guess who is sitting crumpled up against my car? In the Dude? parking lot, yeah, just just sitting up against my car, just like with his just head in his by hands. chance, just by chance, like he like like he couldn't not, he couldn't walk or anything, and he was up against my car, and I was like, God damn it, I don't want to. <sighs> so I just I just started setting off my car alarm from far away <laughs> to see if he'd get up. Did it for about six minutes. He didn't move. Really? Yeah. And then like finally, I just walked over, and he got up and stumbled away. And as I'm getting my car, as you were walking over, yeah. And, and I, as I'm getting my car, I just go. Anybody got a cigarette? What the fuck? And I just got and drove away. It was weird. Jesus. Dude, like, how young was this dude? Or was he like an older guy with long blue hair? Looks like he'd be like 22, 23. Oh, gee. Okay. Just some, somewhere in the 20s. It's either like, you know, he could be like 29, just age as well, or, you know, just like 24, something, mm -hmm. something like that. I had another awkward experience this week. I was about to say, that's not the one that you were no. referencing because... We were recording a video, and you said you wanted to save a certain story for the podcast. And yeah. so I've been I've been lying in wait, waiting for Matt to tell this story. And I'm excited, as should all of you be. Yeah, so Saturday, I w uh, was at the Glendale Galleria, the, the Americana. Americana, the outdoor, you know, uh, nice little, like, park area. It has, like, restaurants and movie Cheesecake theater. Cheesecake factory. So I went to, like, a little Italian deli to get lunch and I got a sandwich and uh you know I'm sitting outside and one thing that the Americana always has every time I go it's like a guarantee is they always have like there's people walking around really cute Pomeranians like I always see cute Pomeranians and I love Did you Pomeranians. step on a Pomeranian no I love Pomeranians so much <laughs> see I'm trying to guess it. one of my favorite dogs is a Pomeranian yeah um did it bite you no 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 I I was sitting there enjoying my lunch and there's a table like 10 feet away from me and there's two husky pomeranian mixes sitting under that look like husky uh pomeranian. Inter w interesting are they still like are they like medium size yeah dogs? they're still pretty small they have like a huskiest huskyish face but you know they're sitting by the owner's chair uh and they're really really cute and i'm like oh my god those are beautiful dogs they look like that uh no not that cute oh. that like this no they didn't look that cute Hmm. So they're just ugly? Well, I took a picture to send my friend because she also loves Pomeranian. So we'll send pictures when we see it, like in a, a really good one in public. Oh, you took a picture and she didn't like the fact you took a picture of her dogs. N no. I, I I sat there and I was like just, I, I zoomed in. I started, I snapped like three or four pictures. Were they near where she was sitting? Yeah, near where she was sitting, but I was zoomed in on the dogs. Yes. And uh, But it looked like your camera's pointing But then at she like looks at me and stares at me and makes eye contact. And then I realized she was breastfeeding. Oh, wait, did you tweet about this? I did, yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I thought I saw you tweet about. Then I realized she was breastfeeding, and I was like, oh, fuck. Fuck! Like, it literally looks like I'm just sitting there taking pictures of a woman <laughs> breastfeeding in public. I know, I know. And she looks at me and stares at me. We make, And I look away, and I'm, like, trying to, like, act natural and do that thing where I kind of, Were you like, with anyone? I was with Chris, my friend Christian, yeah. Oh. He, he didn't know, though, because he had his back to her. But, you know, it's like... <laughs> what, what was that What was that anxiety like? Then I like? did that thing where, like... What was that anxiety like the moment... Oh, uh, my heart dropped. And then, like, I, I, I did that thing where, like, I kind of, like, scanning my eyes back, like, a minute later to... and. Eye contact again. I was like, oh, fuck. Dude. 
Yeah. And she, she immediately stopped breastfeeding and like took the baby out and like stopped breastfeeding and stuff. Dude, that's, that's fucked. That's, I, that is, <laughs> I'm physically cringing. Yeah. Dude, that was cringe, bro. She was sitting with a friend. Dude. So, so like, did, did the friend start looking at you too? No, but to play, to play it off, like I went back inside and, and then when I walked out, I was like, Hey, are those Pomeranian Husky mixes? They're so cute. I've been obsessed with them. And then I like asked their names and pet the dogs. So it's like, oh, did they seem nice once you did that? Yeah. Or were they still, was she still kind of She didn't like, talk, she didn't talk to me, but her friend did. Oh, was she still kind of like, look like. She didn't look like any kind of way. She just didn't say anything. Um, so I was like trying to like, you know, kind of show that I was really into the dogs. Not, maybe not, she's like. He, not those dogs, but. He was filming me while, while, while I was breastfeeding. Hey, baby, I wasn't trying to take a picture of those puppies. <laughs> Yeah, but that was that was my my great awkward experience this That's weekend, awful, dude. And when I realized it was just like the worst feeling, it was well, like a curb your enthusiasm moment. It only thing would have would have made it better is if she like was like, "Hey, are you filming me breastfeeding?" Like that would have really been a great experience that I'd always remember. It would have made a better podcast. Just story, said, no, but. I was filming. No, I was filming the dogs. The, y- yeah, you were. And then she flashes her tits at me, and she goes, "How do you like these d- these puppies?" And, and then, then you, sprays then you milk. Pull out your phone, and then you take another picture, and it goes. Mm-hmm. And, and she sh- goes, "Hey, why'd you do that?" And you're like, "Public space." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I, I think it should be illegal for women to breastfeed in public. I think that that's it's disgusting. I think that it's immoral, and I think that as a society, we should not let it happen. We should shame and it's actually a physically behave. We, we should. Is we what sh- it is. It is, and we should physically hurt people that do it. We should. Like, that's just my opinion. So, I think if you see, like, if you see a woman breastfeeding at the top of, you know, like a set of stairs or something, you know what to do. Anyways, yeah. I mean, it's just it's just disgusting that, that that women would do that in public. Like, come on, you think I want to see that? <laughs> I don't whip out my penis and, and and milk myself in public. Yeah, so th- so they could they can do it, but when I do when I when I do it, I oh all of a sudden I'm in jail and I'm offending people. Come on, double standards, much? <sighs> Stupid. I love people that like I love like the dudes that are like genuinely offended by women breastfeeding in public, like like, oh, like your dad. <laughs> it's, oh, I don't know if my dad is, but it's a lot of like your dad older gets dudes. out the binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guy sitting there binoculars like five feet away from a woman. No, it's like oh ooga, it's like, ooga. But sir, get away from me. It's the same guys that'd be like, yeah, I wish you know I could see it. That woman's breasts. Oh, gross. She's <laughs> oh nasty. <laughs> It's a way of keeping women down, Ryan. They're trying to they're trying to keep them humble and they're trying to keep them that that they that's something they should do in their bedroom with their baby. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So speaking of breastfeeding, I, you know, 90 day fiance, I'm watching there's a there's a guy from Nigeria. I think I, I said this, but I think I said this in Sonic, but he, he breastfed until he was nine. <sighs> and he's he like willing he willingly gives that information. And he's like, and I would suck on and play with the breasts, and Come that's why I like big nine. boobs. And he said that's why he liked big boobs because he would he would suck on and play with his that's mom's so breasts. That's so fucked. That's yeah. so fucked, Brian. You are you seriously saying Nigeria's culture is fucked? <laughs> is, is that, that is that what you want to go with? <laughs> I mean, that, no, that, I don't think that's even normal in Nigeria. <laughs> I don't think that. I think most people stop. Most cultures, I I think, don't continue breastfeeding their child after it's like a a young toddler. Yeah, like. And I saw a video on Reddit yesterday on like r slash that's insane where it was a woman at a, at a music festival uh, spraying breast milk out of both her, her tits on people and like dancing around and spraying a lot. Were people like, ah. Yeah, yeah. Someone oh, got down. Come was, on, dude. And, um, Humans are fucked, dude. But that's why we're so epic. Mm-hmm. Dude, we want to build some shopping malls. Bah! Mm-hmm. Tear out a fucking forest. Yeah, I mean, you could grow more trees. We need some concert space. Sorry, people with small one-story houses that can't <laughs> a- afford to move. We need a we need an awesome center here so we can host shows. When when and, Super Mega Live comes, where are they supposed to perform? Because we need the biggest arena, and this we don't have an arena big enough. Nope, we don't have a coliseum that can fit up to a hundred thousand people. Ma- Madis- Madison Square Garden, who exactly? Exactly. I I just think that. That's why we don't go to small towns because, you know, we don't want to overrun their their humble little town with, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of people. It, w- it would break the economy and everything there. They'd and run the out of internet. food. Yeah. 
It would break the internet. <laughs> I can't believe that there was that uh, that famous like Freddie Mercury AIDS concert. How many people were there? Was it over a million were in the audience? The, the one uh... we watched a video of it at that bar in Japan. Remember that guy had it on, oh, and then he yeah. showed us his music video. The old Japanese guy, he showed us his music video. Which I want to go back to that bar again. It was fun. I have no way to find it. If, if I was in that little part of Tokyo, I, I'd, I'd recognize the street. I'd be able to... Because f- f- Shinjuku is so small. Well, it, actually, it was no, out of not. Shinjuku. It was on like the back streets. But it was, yeah, but, well, it was still like... It was in the back streets, but it wasn't that far off into the back streets. It was still like... A, a, I remember it was just hard because it specifically wasn't didn't have like a light up sign. It felt like it really felt like it, like a like a place in Yakuza Zero, like where, a little map where it only existed. Just and now it's something else, and we'll never see it again. Some other guys. Well, you had shop. to go up. Remember, you had to go up the stairs to get up there, and it was the steepest, narrowest stair passageway. And I mean, like there were touristy type people there already. Yeah. when I showed up, so mm-hmm. like I feel like it would be easy to. He find. gave us the snake socket. It was like a. It was a jar of sake with like a huge dead snake in it, like pick, not pickled, but like preserved by the alcohol. And, I, and we had some Wait, interesting, interesting flavor. I had a dream about a snake last night, but a big snake. I've been having a lot of snake dreams, a lot of alligator dreams. Was it about your big snake? <laughs> no, no. I, I, I mean, that's what most women have dreams about now. But, you know, I really... Maybe it's because I saw a video of a, a big snake yesterday. So then I had a dream about it. But once again, I had a dream, the dream where it's the last day of high school and I'm trying to clear out my locker and like get to my bus in time. And it's like the end of the day. And I'm like, wow, holy shit. But this time I was aware of my dreams in the past of this. And I was like, I'm so happy this is finally happening because I've had so many dreams about this. I'm so happy that like this one's not a dream. And I'm finally my last day of high school and I got to go catch my bus. And this, it's the first time I actually like fully secured like my backpack and I wasn't leaving anything behind and I felt good. And I, and you know, I was walking and I, I was like, this can't be a dream. Nope. It's not. This is the real, this is the real you're deal. Like I'm only, I'm like, I, I'm like, it's finally, it's finally happening. I'm glad it's not that dream I keep having. You like, you imagined, you imagined your, su- your successes and stuff in LA and like, you're just back here again and you're like, okay, I know what to do. Yeah, well, LA didn't even exist. Like, none of that existed. But, like, when you're thinking about your dream, you didn't think of, like, no, any of that? I only thought of, like, the present, me in the present moment where I was. And I was like, I'm, you know, I finished high school. I can't believe, I like, we're done. We did it, guys. And I missed my, I couldn't find my bus. Uh, and I kept being like, it's awesome. This is finally happening. And this one's not that dream. And then I woke up and I was like, oh, God, I, well, stop, brain, stop giving me that fucking dream. It's annoying. How accepting would you it's be? It's boring. How, how accepting would you be if in the middle of a day, like you're just kind of like walking across the street and all of a sudden pfft, you're just like, tr- your consciousness is and everything is transported to like graduation, everyone around you. We did it. We graduated today. And like, it just stayed there. I would fucking hate that, dude. How like how I would like, absolutely <laughs> hate that so much. A- everyone good that I met in my life as an adult, basically like everyone good I've met like as an adult, all like some of the best experiences as an adult, and it's like all they would just that would they'd be gone. I, I've thought about like how hard it would be like to just like try to make certain relationships happen again, like friendships. Would you still or, have memories of of LA and stuff, or is it just boom? Let's say you did. Let's say you did. I'd try to find all the people. That, right? Yeah, I'd try to find everyone. But in doing that, like, would it, you know. Hey, so maybe in like a parallel universe, we were boyfriend and girlfriend, but um, <laughs> now I got transported back. Like, this is how you get me years. back into Super Mega? Yeah. Hey, you're actually my husband <laughs> in, in, in an alternate what? timeline. You sound crazy. Like, just, like, hey, you know, we actually slept together in a parallel universe. So maybe like we could you, you be telling do that me to again? this as like high school math. You'd be telling this to like post like just a year post high school Ryan. No, I'm, t- I'm talking to a girl, not you. But you're talking to Bo. You, this is how you're getting me back into super mega. I didn't say that. I'm I'm I, talking to, to ladies. What? And I'm like, hey, yeah, we end up having sex. You think about ladies. You don't think about your boys. Ryan, if I if saving I saving your boys, if I hit you up, you're not going to respond to me. You're going to be like this crazy guy just messaged me saying that in a parallel universe, he just got transported from six years in the future and he's back in high school now. And 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 we're supposed to be make a channel together on YouTube. Well, what would you do? 
You would ignore it. I would. Exactly. So I'd, I'd have to wait. <laughs> I would. I'd probably just have to wait. Would you ever reach out to me to try to like be a f- like become my friend? Yeah. Or would you be like? Hmm. Yeah, for sure. I would try to. Um, I think I'd probably just try my best to exactly replicate the path that yeah. I that I did. Send me send me pictures of my stepdad and my but grandmother. And the problem aunts. is, there's going to be like little bad things I remember along the way that I'm going to want to like change and avoid. Because I'm like, oh, I have another chance. But then changing those little things might completely, you know, change the future that I remember. And then that future is all gone. And I didn't meet these cool people because I did this small, slight butterfly effect change. You know, that 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 is like. So I, it's like the bad I, shit has to happen. If I think about it, sometimes that's like the most terrifying aspect of that, like thought exercise or whatever is like I would just have to reconnect with everyone. Not only that, but like I'm f- like just older. <sighs> Like, how much older would I feel, like, if I were to, like, go from 17 to 27 again? You're going about a decade, yeah. Yeah. You know, almost. Are you going to go to your, is your high school going to have a 10-year reunion? I don't know. And if, if I did go, I just feel like I it would be very sad. Well, I mean, you showing up in your Lamborghini with the suits and everything <laughs> would be pretty cool. With a briefcase that has, it like, would make everyone else look sad. You need to get like a prop briefcase that's li- that's like the sides are busting with money sticking out, of all, <laughs> and like it's like swelling up. Hey, do you do you guys have a place I can put this? You guys have a bag check, a valet maybe, <laughs> where I can I can I can put my bags, and it's, they're just dropping. I do $100. little magic tricks for the valets. It's like, oh, what's that? It's like a hundred dollar bill. Here's your tip. <laughs> I love, dude. I, I love I, that. Just reminded me of that one part in our book. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm excited to work on the book some more this week. Mm-hmm. We just we're just. I keep uh, remembering little moments that we wrote, like because uh, honestly, what we need to do is we need to before we start working on it again, sit down and read the whole thing out loud. Yeah, so we can like and change some stuff and yeah. rework it. Absolutely. Um. So I'm I'm stoked, man. We just need a day you and me just you know smoking on some stogies. No. Oh yes, yeah, stogies. Absolutely. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say illegal drugs. No, of course not. Oh, some stogies. I'm fine with the. I love stogies. Stogie's such a funny word. You're not if you do not smoke a stogie, what kind of man are you? Jackson has a grandpa he calls Papa Cigar because <laughs> Papa Stogie. He always has a, a big ass unlit stogie in his mouth. Always. And he and when he helped us move out of our, our college dorm, he just had it in the middle of his mouth and he'd like talk like it would just be bouncing up and down. And that's Papa Cigar. He's that's, always got a cigar. That's how he feels comfortable. He has an oral fixation. It would just be it would just be wet. Creepy bastard. I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. It would be wet and just moist and mm-mm. None for me, thank you. Mm-mm. You wanna try this stogie, Matthew? It's fucking like like oatmeal texture, like soaking wet with spit. Uh. You know? The first I remember the first time I ever smoked a blunt, my, my friend rolled it. He didn't, you really. didn't feel anything, right? No, I, that's the first time I did. This is the first time I actually got high. Okay. It was it, like a like a backwoods that he emptied out. But then. Because you always like explain it in two different like areas where it's like the first time you got high, but the first time you smoked up. First time I smoked was when that kid from my high school came over on my back porch and I took a little hit because I okay. felt awkward and not. And I called my mom afterwards. I was like, mom, I smoked marijuana. And then the first time you got high. But I remember was, yeah, with uh, my, my friend uh, came over and. and I remember he was like licking the backwoods to like roll it back up to seal it. And he, it was like, it was soggy. It was like the whole thing was like dr- dripping wet with spit. I remember. It was, I remember, <laughs> I remember this it was story. a great backwoods. And we went outside in my, in my cul-de-sac and my cul-de-sac and smoked it. And then went inside and watched Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson's Cosmos on my tiny little TV that was like a foot long. And it was awesome. I think I watched that with like Daniel in high school or like first year of college or something like that. What is space? It was just we watched some cosmos. They were like, this is insane. Dude, I love, I love. Or maybe it was Bill Nye's. Because didn't he do a cosmos or some shit? Or he talks, or is Bill Nye in that one? Carl Sagan maybe? Or maybe it's the Carl Sagan one. Those guys are cool. I I love space so much. And there's a YouTube channel. I watched one of them. I just can't remember. There's a couple of space YouTube channels I found that I really like. There's one called Destiny. Not the guy that debated John Tron on ethno states and stuff. Uh, but the uh, it's just called Destiny. And it's this the video game from Bungie. Well, he has a very deep voice, British voice. He's like, Neptune has oceans of liquid diamonds. And it's like really good <laughs> graphics and it's awesome. Great channel. Oi, can you believe that? Can I like- you believe that oceans, if they were to rise even one meter... 
that it would cover almost the entirety of the world. Is that true? No. Oh. I don't think so. I don't know. I actually, That's a lot of water added, but like... I read a... There's a lot of places a, a meter up from sea, from sea level. Oh, yeah. What the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the science of that, it's like, that's how much water is added, and it shifts and goes in different, like, I don't know. There's so much fucking water on it. Because then we're talking about, like, lakes over... Certain areas over flooding. Because some places are just, like... Lowland areas. Or, I mean, 2030s, it's supposed to happen. Like, think about a meter up right now in Charleston. Oh, yeah. Like... The, so so I mean the downtown area of Charleston is below sea level, which is why it floods so much when there's a big storm. And people go kayaking yeah. and shit. When I was a kid, I remember I went like I don't know why the fuck my parents let me do this. I just remember I got my bathing suit and I was like swimming in like street water like all day. Like like maybe like a foot deep. Like, <sighs> and it's like, like spitting it out of your mouth. It's fucking like ringworm it. swimming around <laughs> and like parasites and like it was it was like orangey black and just I don't know why my mom's like, yeah, go, you can go swimming, Matthew, in the fucking st chemical ridden street water with, with parasites. And, you know, it's probably where I got that jock itch. Oof. You ever had jock itch, bro? Yeah. Shit sucks balls. Yeah. yeah. It's a fungus. Yeah. I had it in, it's in high school. athlete's foot. Shit hurt. On your crotch. I, so it's funny because like it, athlete's foot jock itch and everywhere else, it's all the exact same thing, but it has a different name for like every single part of your body you get in on. It's like crabs and lice, right? Or mm -hmm. no, those are, are those? Yeah, they're the same thing. Okay. I don't get how, I, I've said this before, dude. I don't get why crabs are a problem. Just shape, just shape. And then you're, shave you're your done. fucking nuts. Just shave your fucking nuts. Or in your pubis. Shave, shave, shave your, uh, your, your, your pussy hole and then you're good. Like seriously, like Ugh. God, God, dude, I got a bad dude. I got crabs. I don't know what to do. And just take a little tiny butane blowtorch down there. Get them. Yeah, I did. Spray some Windex on your crotch. Yeah, let it sit, dude. You, you, have you ever had lice? No, you're lucky. I got them in elementary school, like fifth grade. My sister and I got lice because there was like an outbreak at my school. You had dandruff though. Very different. Lice, yes, fucking, of course. Lice suck. And actually, I, and you feel gross when you have them. I mean, knowing that you have bugs in your fucking hair, and you're just like, oh, crawling around, it itches. And then fucking, uh, on top of that, like you can't sit on any furniture. You so can't. where do lice like breed in your hair? But so like animals, like, they lay eggs in on your scalp. Like so, what makes them different from fleas? They're just different creatures, and lice stay in your hair. Fleas just bite you and then jump away. Fleas usually bite, like, they, they stay attached to the source. Like, they only jump out because we can't host them. But, like, if they jump on your animal, they usually stay for their lifetime. Well, lice like to stay and nest in your hair, and it's fucking awful. And I remember I was, the shampoo, like, would not work, like, the special shampoo to kill them. And I was, my mom was so close to, I was going to have to shave my head. And as a fifth grader... I know. I had that long, flippy Anthony Padilla hair. See, as as a as an early twenty year old, it was fun and exciting because you're changing your appearance, like doing something that you have the you know full just ability to do without like worrying about the judgments or anything of like close family or friends. Right, right. And it was fun for a show. Right. But at, but in f you said in fifth grade. Yeah. In fifth, fifth grade, fourth. that fifth. would be that would be pretty traumatizing. I mean, like that's. Because like, that's noticed. Like your classmates. Oh, yeah. That, 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 that's going to set you aside real fast. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. As an adult, you shave your head. It's not like anyone's really going to treat you different. But it, in like fifth grade, the social hierarchy of like schools, like all of a sudden, you know, you are a target. You were, you were, it's like, dude, you got your fucking, like he's bald now. Yeah. I just knew that there were certain like, there are certain stereotypes that are a lot like if you, if you were to shave your head, you're like, you're, you're an asshole type of vibe. That like that's why like a lot of people did like I don't know like the high and tight shaved head it just like <laughs> dude all the all the like ROTC haircuts or like the military haircuts are so my I love the high and tight yeah I'll get a high and tight please it sounds like a cocktail Could you imagine if they like made all the girls do it too <laughs> <laughs> why do men have to shave their head like that in the military I don't know how could what's like, the point so wait if I if I as if I as as a dude were to like put my hair up in a bun. Would that be fine? Because no, they make they everyone has to get that haircut. <laughs> no, -uh. yeah, it's females the, don't. Well, not females, but fem males. 
Hmm. Well, I'm sure that the army, I'm sure the United States military is very accepting of those <laughs> ideas and, and would let you keep your long hair. Good. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you, uh, that you, uh, propagate our military so well. Oh, I mean, I, we donate all the Patreon money to the military. <laughs> $750 billion a year isn't enough. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go to break. I have to piss. Smans? Yeah. So, uh, we'll be right back and, uh, stay gold, everyone. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. By cutting out retail stores, there's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in the form of mystery fees. Instead, Mint just passes on sweet savings direct to you. Ah, uh, man. I, I keep talking about how I start my the, these companies and I, I buy a lot, a lot of these phones, so I put them on a plan, and they, they have to be really cheap plans. It's, it's, it's a great new company that I've started actually recently. I've started many in the past, but... I'm starting to actually sell water-scented candles. Uh, spring water, ocean water, Arctic water. It's going to be great. It's going to be, I mean, it's an exciting line. And I need a lot of phones to do so many deals. And Mint Mobile provides a very cheap plan. For people looking for extra savings, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless to just 15 bucks a month. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mitch, <laughs> Mitch Mobile. Switch to Mitch Mobile. <laughs> He's done it. Mitch has started his own company. <laughs> Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash supermega. We all get a case of the sad sometimes. It, it just happens. It's part of life. And a great way to deal with that is to speak to a professional licensed counselor. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You connect in a safe and private online environment. It's so convenient. You can start communicating in just under 48 hours, and it's professional counseling done securely online. You can send a message to your counselor anytime with timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can even do weekly video or phone sessions, all without ever having to sit in that uncomfortable cold waiting room. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. The service is worldwide and you can find the particular expertise you need online. Don't limit yourself to the counselors located near you. Licensed professional counselors who specialize in depression, stress, anxiety, relationship issues, sleeping issues, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem, and much more. And remember, it's fully confidential, convenient, and affordable. I came home one day, my refrigerator had ran away because my refrigerator was running. And I was so heartbroken over this loss. And I, and I talked to a BetterHelp counselor about grief and, and loss. And it gave me a brand new perspective on things. And now... I've learned to accept it, and I'm not grieving. The Super Mega Brothers want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp.com slash SuperMega. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash SuperMega. Ah, those smelly, smelly ad reads are out of the way. Oh my God, Ryan, I tell you what, that was probably the clearest my urine has been in ages. Good. We're and drinking more lot. water here at the office. We need to get that water cooler thing. Yeah. I, it was it was so much. Still dangling your mic. Yeah, it's not uh it it's not connected. I feel like we've had this problem before. I, I, I feel like I'm living in like deja vu, except like this I don't remember making this observation in a while. Has the mic's it always not, been like this? No, it hasn't. But the problem is I can't put it back on without unplugging the mic itself the yeah so i just gotta let so my mic is actually just hanging right now and i'm speaking into it yeah hanging from the arm that it's on so it's it's wobbling very slowly but we should be good yeah should be good that's all good let me see if i can get a little bit closer to my oh, damn damn boy it's spinning around there we go i think i think that's good yeah yeah i, I love it basket. what nothing dude what <laughs> Nothing. What have you been doing at home? Chilling? Have you been working on any new music? It's none of your business. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, I have been working on music. Oh, so the moment I mentioned your music, now you want to fess up and, yeah. and talk about Okay. Uh, no, really, I, I've been working on my place still, like, because I rearranged some rooms. Is that the name of the album? 
<laughs> my place still. I basically, like, I've lived in my place since, like, April or May, and it's just still not set up to how I want it. So I've been, like, spending a lot of Saturdays and stuff just waking up, spending all day just cleaning or moving things around or... Just staring at the walls in anger. Mm, yeah, and shaking my fist Decorate. at the ceiling. I'm trying to... I'm finally putting some shit up on my walls. My bedroom, I just cleaned for the first time, and I put up a, 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 a picture, put up... A, I really wanted to be a white boy, so I put a Weezer poster on Ooh. the back of my bedroom door. The Green Album. Nice. Yeah. So they'll go, oh, you're one of those guys. Weezer's sick. I'm seeing Weezer in like two weeks. Live. It's like one of those where it's just like so much nostalgia. Weezer is so nostalgic sound. for me. Like all that, all that, the sound and just all those songs. First music video I ever saw was Pork and Beans. I was at Sunset Beach at the time and for some reason it was on, M I think it was on MTV or some shit. But the music video played on the television. Oh, dude, I love that song and that video just because of the... Like, that was the, the era internet. of YouTube that we started with. So, like, seeing all of those, like, old YouTube memes in that video, it just takes me back to, like, when YouTube was still so small and, like, uh, we were, like, part of, like, that. So, yeah. it's it's cool. I the love come them. up. Remember, remember how much you used to be able to customize your channel? Oh, <laughs> it was like a MySpace page. Yeah, and if you were... Uh, a partner you could have like a banner on mm -hmm. like the side of your videos and you could customize it like crazy I spent so long trying to make custom like backgrounds you like, had to fill out this form or you had to like do something there was something you had to do in the settings so that you could actually put thumbnails on your video that's right so pe people that couldn't put custom thumbnails they'd flash a frame at exactly like the the third way point or something so mm -hmm. it would get it would like so like randomly in a video just flash like a woman with tits <laughs> and then just like like why is that yeah i remember I, I wish i could have done custom thumbnails as a kid there was so much you couldn't upload over 10 minutes remember unless Could you were that like signed up for that thing whatever the i don't know i can't remember what it was called at the time i think it was just was it partner something probably partner okay partner or uh are you a twitch affiliate i think it was partner but are you partnered on Twitch, Matthew? That's all I wanted was was to be a partner. And now you've gotten it. The goal is met. <laughs> yeah, but then what? You could stream like you could easily stream like music shit. Like I've thought around. about streaming music because it's it would be really fun to like to do streams where I make a song on stream and do, have to like finish it. Do some like DJ shit, except you'd have to be like careful. Well, that's why I would just do a stream where I have to just make music because that won't get copyrighted. No, but. I should do a stream where I make a rap song. I should like rap streams where they help me write it and then you have to rap it live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not yeah, that actually sounds like really fun streams. Cause and you because I don't like playing games that much in front of people, so that's kinda why I don't stream that much. But I making music sounds pretty sweet. I, I, I have a cool setup for streaming. I just have to set it up. Oh. Uh, like I have a cool place. Like the desk I got in like the room, it's it's great. But um so I'm I'm stoked for I'm sure once I'm done setting up my studio, I'll, I'll do a test stream. It's always like one of those things where it's like, I'll eventually get to streaming. And then like you'll pop in maybe if every now and then, and then it's just like, mm. it's, yeah, it's, it's, I don't, I'm not a streamer. I don't like consider that my job. Yeah. Like a lot of other YouTubers do. Cause I don't know. I've just never been that big into streaming. Um, so I don't, I don't know if there's like, a, I don't think there's an expectation for me to stream. So I don't really feel the pressure to stream, but I'll stream when I want to. And, and I have a lot of fun when I do. I do another YooHoo stream. Oh, we should do a YooHoo stream. <sighs> that was that, that's look that looked miserable. It was. I I think I drank nine YooHoo's. <laughs> did you you did you you made yourself throw up? Nope. Right? No, damn. I kept them all. <laughs> that's crazy. I kept nine YooHoo's. I let that's crazy. <laughs> I let nine <laughs> YooHoo's snake their way through my entire body. Like nine, yeah, nine yuhus absorbed into my cells and and through my intestines and Your delivered into my blood. Body got nutrients from yeah, that. I got a lot of nutrients, man. <laughs> Hold on, how much sugar is in a yuhu? Like just one yuhu. One like, yuhu. It's chocolate beverage. How much sugar is <laughs> in a yuhu? Let's see. Okay, nineteen grams. So basically, nineteen times nine. Uh, oh, oh no. Yeah, so that's, that was, that was 171 grams of sugar. So, 
What else is in there? So, see, I got some vitamins. You, who does have some good vitamins in it, man. Like that's what it's from. I was like, is there another drink called like Yahoo? And then I'm like, oh, that's from like a Hey Arnold episode where like they were drinking this new chocolate drink or something called <laughs> Yahoo. Yeah, I love when like things slightly change things to get away <laughs> with it, dude. Okay, one Yahoo has five percent of my daily intake of potassium. So you got five days worth of nutrients all in all in one day? N- no, no, it has five percent of my daily intake that I need. So nine Yahoos. Oh, okay, so forty five percent. Yeah, so almost half my daily potassium. And each one has seven percent of my daily carbs. Ooh. You know, so seven times nine, forty nine. Sure, I, dude. I don't fucking Let me, know how to do. The school system failed me, dude. I can't do fuck. I never have to do math anymore. Oops, I'm wrong. <laughs> That's seven times seven is forty nine. Yeah, sixty three. Okay. <clears throat> you who makers sued for five million for false advertising. Who? <laughs> you who makers? Yeah, um, there's an article. From 2010. Yeah, but it tastes great. A Brooklyn man is suing the makers of YooHoo chocolate flavored drink for five million, claiming they falsely advertise it as good for you when it actually contains unhealthy ingredients, according to the federal lawsuit. Who thinks that a chocolate beverage is good for you? I thought that I was gonna get all my nutrients by <laughs> drinking YooHoo. <laughs> God damn it! These people know they're not actually upset about it. I mean, I, no, they're just suing to to sue a company and try to get money. That's all. Yeah. Or it's like, how could you don't don't uh don't advertise this to kids, telling them that it'll make them healthy. They need to be drinking their apple juice, their sugary, <laughs> their apple orange ju- juice and apple juice. <laughs> orange juice is literally like acid and sugar. <laughs> <coughs> oh, he said, "Here we go." Timothy Dahl, 35, is looking to take the suit nationwide as a class action suit. Damn, dude, I would have loved to join in on this. Charging that the beverage, once touted by Yogi Bear as the drink of champions, actually contains dangerous, unhealthy, non-nutritious, partially hydrogenated oil, court papers say. Dude, some fucking judge just like, ah, well, this is my day today. I guess I have to just deal with this. I'm looking up Yogi Bear. Wait, Yogi Bear or Bear? B E R R A. I don't know what that. But Yogi, dude. Doctor Pepper owns Yuhu. Doctor Pepper Snapple Group. That's the name of the company. Oh, will be brought to you by Camel, America's best light cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up here in the press box watching a great ball player. It's New York Yankee catcher Yogi Berra. Okay, so he. Active American a baseball player really named Yogi Berra? Three times. One question I've always wanted to ask you. Yogi Bear? You, uh, talk to the batters a lot, Yogi. What do you say to them? Try to help them, Jim. Help them. The guys you want to beat? Where's the you who? Is this. Hold up. Women's proteins. Not every day, Jim. Road work. What do you eat to keep yourself going? I always eat puss and boots. Fish flavor or meat flavor. And yo, mm-hmm. Puss in Boots is a complete diet. Vitamins, he, protein. He eats Puss in Boots? I can't tell if it's like it's supposed to be like the cat saying it. Or, or if like it's supposed to like... More about cats than that guy eats the Puss in Boots cat food in a can? They really did that advertisement poorly where it looked like the guy's <laughs> the one that eats the fucking Puss in Boots cat food. Who knows more about cats than Puss in Boots? That's true, man. Who does know more okay. than more about cats? He loves you. Who says Yoo-Hoo is just for kids. You is for anyone who likes a delicious chocolate drink. Made with nourishing low fat milk. Get you who from Iroquois brands. Okay. So. You, you who the lawyers for, for you who came out and were like, this is a trivial lawsuit. You who is absolutely a safe and fun treat for anyone who enjoys. <laughs> I, I love it. That's why I do it so much when they say that it's so fun. But like, I love when the companies describe their product as fun. Like it's a fun new drink. It's a fun drink, man. You're going to have fun when you drink it. <laughs> When you're drinking Yoohoo, you're going to have a good time. I don't care if you're at your mother's funeral. If there's Yoohoo there, you're going to have a good time. You're going to crack it open and fucking... Yeah, but yeah. You... I have so much fun using this product. When I use Yoohoo... <laughs> that's, that's, I love, that's like one of my favorite Every bits. time I'm using the product Yoohoo, I'm having a great time. <laughs> I love... I, I'm not going to lie. Like I do like Yoohoo. I enjoy Yoohoo. I don't think I... I maybe I would now... I just realized they sell it in the same exact same being, bottles as Snapple. I just remember it being too watery when I had it one time. I was like, this is so watery. Well, it's because you're expecting chocolate milk, yeah. but it's a chocolate drink. <laughs> but like, why is it? It's a chocolate beverage. You it's expect not chocolate it to milk. be like thick or something, but it's like very, it is still thick. But, but yeah, 
it's still vi- watery. Is you who thicker than water? <laughs> the age old debate, hey, bro. You who's thicker than water? Nope, nope. They're the exact same. <laughs> did we, did they ever find out if blood's thicker than water? Blood, blood, because because it's plasma. Yeah, and it has. It's like water that has stuff in it. Dude, blood's crazy. Every time I cut myself and I like look at the blood, uh, I'm like, holy shit! That's like, that's like just a bunch of like cells. But that's what it looks like visually, all close together. Yeah, it, blood's pretty. Like the the shade of red. I'm not not in like a weird psycho way. Okay. I think it's it's a pretty liquid. It looks blood so pretty on you. My hey, baby, you look good in blood. <laughs> That sure would look good with some blood on it. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Hey, it's a corpse song. Baby, you look good in blood. Let's uh, let's go back. You know the creek, the one with all the rocks. <laughs> this guy's definitely wearing a Jack Skellington shirt. <laughs> we should go and sit next to that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could go to the Hot Topic in the mall. I can get my parents to drive us. <laughs> You're thirty three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I get my parents to drive us. <laughs> Dressed up like a Jack Skellington t-shirt is too small for him. Okay, we're here, baby. Uh, listen to this stream. So, is this your new girlfriend, Jonathan? Spot. Shh. We're having a moment. Please leave us. Mm. Was that you? Oops, no, that was me. Actually, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Dude, I want to know how many dudes have farted on a, on a first date by accident. <laughs> And just like they, they had tell it. us your funny fart stories in the comments section below, <laughs> dude. You know, out there though, there's been a day where like they're like they click perfectly, like it's it's so good, and they're uh, like like about to score, it's about to like home run, and he accidentally farts in front of the girl, and just completely just she's she's out of it. No, and then like would that ever turn? Would that like for people who have such a big connection with someone, would a fart really put them off? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Here's another ad, here's another ad read. No. Guys, if you've been opting out of skincare, I get it. I mean, I, I didn't bother with skincare for the longest time because, you know, it takes too much time. I got to figure out, you know, what to put on, when to put on, if it's right for my skin, if it's going to actually help, if it's going to make me break out more, et cetera, et cetera. But the truth is most of us actually do care about our skin. We just don't know where to start. So if you're looking for something simple that works without being complicated, then you have to try Curology. Curology makes skincare effortless. They create a custom skincare formula for your skin goals. Plus, they've got a cleanser and moisturizer moisturizer that are easy on your skin and super easy to use. You know, uh, the number one way to prevent aging is uh, to put on sunscreen and moisturizer. Everything ships right to your door and your first 30 days are free. You just cover five bucks for shipping and handling. Sign up for Curology in minutes by sharing your skin type and skin goals and a licensed dermatology provider can create a custom formula made for you. Like one personalized formula that's all you. Whether you're struggling with acne, dark spots, or just want something simple and straightforward. They've also got some other amazing products products you can add to your subscription. Acne body wash, emergency spot patches, which are my favorite. Uh, so you can do it up or keep it simple. I don't tend to break out that much, but I use Curology for a daily facial moisturizer uh, and, and you know, I, to, to keep my skin protected and moist and, and glowing and beautiful. So if you're ready for healthier skin and a routine that makes sense, do what I did. Give Curology a go. Go to Curology.com super for a free 30-day trial. Just pay for shipping and handling. That's C-U-R-O-L-O-G-Y dot com slash super to unlock your free 30 day trial. See Curology.com for all the details. Bro, you're you're laying them on thick. How, how was it was your poop like hot lava today or we was were, it a nice like <laughs> we were talking the other the other day, the other night while you didn't I, answer my question about no, your poop. No, it was it was just regular. Is it solid? It's fine, yeah. Okay. We were talking the other night while editing about like how some of our humor is just so immature and crass and gross, and we're like it's like farting into the microphone and fucking like showing like our streams of piss. It's like, it's like we got to remember that it's probably like, like 90% of the people that would watch the video were like, oh, j- Jesus. Like, so these really are just 30 year olds acting like high schoolers. Yeah, essentially. It's like, yeah. wow, okay. <laughs> That's their job is, is farting into their cell phone. I have realized like when we go out to like this most recent vlog, we like did it up a bit and we're having to like, you know, cut, you know, kind of. Hold back See, a little on we, some of that. We're, we're trying to not be because you know the boys love it. The boys think it's great, but girls, <laughs> not so much. And and the ladies, maybe some fellas might not like it too if no. they're weird. But you know, we're, we're trying to keep it more less potty humor. I said immediately after like farting 
on the podcast. Four, three times? Three. So you counted. Yeah. Oh, I know. I never, I actually were your farts. counted since I've been born. You've never forgotten a fart. No, I've, yeah. ca- I've been counting up. You can't forget a good fart. That was 61,249. <laughs> I'm sometimes a menace. Uh, Dennis? I, yeah, Dennis the menace. I just go out in public and if like someone's kind of like in my way to get around them and if I have if I have to put a little effort in getting around them, I'll just go <laughs> like as I'm passing. Wait, the them. sound or like an actual? Just the sound. Oh, okay. I do that too. Like <laughs> you got me into doing that and then now I'll do it for my own entertainment. Like I'll pass a dude in Target real close. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because like no one's going to be like, hey, what what was that? Like no one's going to go out of their way. Because I'll be like, well, I didn't hear anything. And I, also it's just. <laughs> yeah, I had to like do it to like a group of friends where it's like. <laughs> and then you can sometimes like. Look sometimes, around. Yeah. Hey, who was that? Come on. <laughs> what 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 are we fucking in fourth grade? <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's this, such a, it's such a fun fucking 30 year old man in a man with, with a man bun. Actually, he came by and just made a fart noise at us. Security's gonna come up to you one day. I'm like, sir, you need to come with me. <laughs> and like a mom, it's like, what? And it's like we have, we have like, we have reports of you consistent reporting of you walking by women and making them feel uncomfortable by making a <laughs> farting noise in their ear. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like you're making women uncomfortable over and over. But like, no, I'm just the true test officer. I'm saying I'm trying to find the perfect woman. Well, she'll do it back. You, you that one day you're gonna hear. <laughs> and then quickly. it's like you're, you're <gasps> deep love. Then we'll, our eyes will link. See, that's that's the test. If I ever hear someone do that again, that's how I know that that it's a true connection. You know, it's it's funny um, because a lot of people ask us how how to do that sound, and ah, oh, it's so hard. You know, it it it, it kind of is. is. It kind of is. <laughs> it's because it, most people you have to like do it a lot to figure out like just the right amount. It's not of as hard as on whistling. The lips. I can't even whistle. <laughs> I don't it just sounds like you know. wind outside of the house. <laughs> I, know. I don't have a I don't whistle the correct way. I can't whistle the nor- the way most people But you still whistle. <laughs> yeah, so it sounds a little like raspy. <laughs> yeah. You but can't get that clean whistle. No. Most people like I I don't know, I can't do it. We got to go to whistle camp so everyone can whistle. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But some people can they be born better with the shapes of their mouths yeah, and of the, course. their tongues and shit. Yeah, definitely. Like I'm, people with big sloppy tongues are probably good at ki- uh, <clears throat> not not kissing? not kissing. You have a big sloppy tongue. Uh, yeah, I do, dude. Has anyone ever told you you're a bad kisser? No. So, what well, they have for me? Have they? Actually, the uh, one of the first times I made out, I with- think they just accept the fact that they look at me and go, "He's gonna be a bad kisser," and like that's. They, you take one look at me and you know. Well, they look at me and they're like, "He's gonna be a fucking god in the sack." And then you're not, and they're yeah. well, so. What happened this one time? Well, it was one of the first times. It was it was one of the first times I made out with with someone, and and she stopped, like two minutes in. And she was like, "You're really bad at kissing," and I was like, "Oh, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of new." <laughs> and then she's like, I, I, "I was apparently I was I was using too much lip." <laughs> well, kissing yeah, baby, weird. kissing's weird, dude. Dude, like if you if it's it, like just, if you're it's, a new kisser it's and such a pro weird kissers, form of improv. It make your mouths improv. touch, and then and then but, your tongue sometimes. But make them touch in, in in the in a way that's 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 rhythmically uh, not on awkward. Yeah. So, it- I, I know every like the first few kisses I ever had. I know I was just an awful kisser. I remember I, the first one I I had with with one of my first girlfriends. Uh, I smashed my teeth into her braces, <laughs> and that and Ow. that's and that's the only time we kissed. Actually, <laughs> that was that was it. It was, <laughs> like it's like I love I, I, like people like on reality TV when they make out they open their mouth so it's like oh. they want to get so much tongue the dude's so horny he's no. like I want to put my fucking tongue down her throat I don't see I've like I don't think I've ever kissed with like with like <laughs> like how they <laughs> no. do in movies and shit it's like how do you even do that I, like, like where their where their mouths like so open to two times the like side. cartoon ass like <laughs> like, like in movies yeah also I fucking hate the sound of kissing like. In a mic, like on TV or in a movie, when it's like silent, it's like, like people making out. Like when I watch The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, they have their mics on, and then uh, like when they start kissing, it'll just be like, and I'm just like, oh, I hate, I fucking hate that sound. Like like a soft, tender kiss. Come here, baby. Unless Is that why when I kiss you on the head, you cringe? Yeah. Well, it's also because, well, yes. When, whenever you place a tender kiss on my neck as a prank. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> good prank. But uh, it it really uh, <laughs> it makes like the hairs on my arm stand up, not in like a horny way, but it like it's like an auto reflex. I'm like, ooh. And it gets but me I'm the, always I, that always shiver down my that spine. That makes me takes, feel bad because you should be excited that your friend Ryan's about. It, it literally takes my breath away when you see Ryan. <laughs> and and uh, basically. Uh, Send shivers of butterflies down my spine. It, it also, I get giddy like a schoolboy, but it also, it's the facial hair. Because when, when you give me a kiss on the neck, I feel your facial hair. And it reminds me of when I used to kiss my dad on the lips as a <laughs> child. And I would feel his facial hair, and I really fucking hated it. How often, how, when's the last time you kissed your dad on the lips? When's the last time y'all's lips have touched? Well, last time I went home. <laughs> No, uh, honestly, I was probably four, maybe, or five. In fourth grade, fifth grade? You're not, you're not in fifth grade. No, I know that. Okay. I just <laughs> no, yeah, like probably like four or five, because I, I actually only have one specific memory of kissing my dad on the lips, and it was before bed. You have a specific memory? Because I remember how much I hated the feeling of facial hair. So when he was leaning in, you were like, <sighs> <laughs> So th I think that's like, so you as a kid, when he was leaning in for that kiss. Well, I wanted to kiss my dad on the lips. <laughs> I was, I was a youngin, you know. I was a little boy. Like that's that's not you don't understand. So that you went in for it. You just like you held your lips out. You now know? now even just talking about it makes me feel uncomfortable. Why? Kiss talking about kissing my dad on the lips. People people make fun of fucking what's his name for doing it. Sportsman. Yeah. Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> why can't I remember his name either? Football boy. Al Sharpton. No. Not um. Al Sharpton. No. What's his name? Why do I? Why am I uh, Tom Clancy? Why am I, why am I suddenly Tom forgetting Clancy. this? Tom something, Tim, no, it, not it's Tim Tom. Tebow. It's Tom, Tom Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, T no, not, hey, what, okay, wait, what's his name? Hey, he, Jackson. He kisses his son. Jackson. Why can't any of us remember this? Me, Kane did a video. Fuck. T Tim Brady. Tom Brady. Tom, Tom Tim, Brady. Tim, Tim Tom Brady. Brady. Yeah, Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. That's it, that's it. Um, so, I mean, everyone gives him flack for doing it, but you, you and your dad were doing the same thing. Yeah, but also his kids are much older, and when he kisses them on the lips, it's not like a little like peck, like like I love you, son. It's like, a, <laughs> where's my kiss? <laughs> Which he says, he and, and there's a documentary or some shit where he's laying down on a massage table, yeah, and his son's that. leaving the room. He's like, hey, and he Spider Man's that shit. He's like, hey, where's my kiss? Where's my kiss? And then the kid comes back and gives right. him a big old kiss. That's just, that's so. The, 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 I remember for a video that it, that it, kid's we, gonna get bullied. Probably already does. Well, I mean, his dad's not. Tom Brady, so maybe not. I don't know. When his dad's going to be old, it's going to be like, <laughs> We actually knew a guy that was uh, Tom Brady's cousin. Do you oh. remember him? Yeah, and he said Tom Brady would kiss him, too. Yeah, he kisses everyone in the family. We really did know Tom Brady's cousin. It was just like a random fact he dropped one day, and we had no idea that they were cousins. <laughs> you know. And he proved it. He proved it to us. He showed us uh, pictures and everything. But yeah, anyway... Um, I'm going to use the little boys room if that's okay. Okay. And I think we can wrap it up here. Okay. Sounds good. Does that sound good to you? Okay. Well, um, if everyone, uh, go uh, d subscribe to our Patreon and uh, watch our videos. We have a and... Discord now. Patreon Discord. Yeah. Fun, fun. We'll, we'll pop in every now and then. Say hey. Talk about some stuff. You know, it's going to be lots of fun. Come on. Come on. You'll talk with all the other epic megaheads. There's a bunch of different, like, little channels, channels that you can really be precise in your interests mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so bye bye